Good afternoon students and viewers, this is Poomani, Faculty of English, uh, Vidya Lakshmi Group of Schools. Uh, every day we have new topics and today I just brought this topic uh, for you. Okay, uh, today we have the topic, the singing lesson. Most probably everyone likes songs, particularly music. Music will change everyone's mood. If you are so tired, when you listen to the favorite song, you will get the boost. Okay, when you just listen to the music, if it brings, uh, uh, brings some favorable lyrics, automatically you'll be so happy. And most probably nowadays, when we are listening to the song, even the lyrics are up, uh, appearing on the screen. So we are just uh, singing ourselves. And even the small children will react to the situation. So music plays a vital role, just like God. Because you know, once A.R. Ramana has said, uh, Music which takes me to the new world because where I can forget myself. Okay, so uh, let's start our to topic the singing lesson uh, written by Catherine Mansfield. Okay, so here only one transmission the lady teacher, the music teacher, when he gets a bad news from his fiance, okay, she feels, she feels dejected and depressed. And she thinks that she has lost everything. When she gets the good news and she thinks that she has wings and she is flying in the heaven because the situation makes a person happy as well as sad. Okay, here why I have brought the musical notes and everything because the uh, main character, okay, Miss Meadows, okay, she's a music teacher because everything is happening only in the music school. Okay, let's go and uh, uh, discuss the topic. The singing lesson written by uh, Catherine Mansfield. Okay. So you must know about the key facts because when it is written and just who wrote, what are the new what are the characters? Okay. Let's see the key facts about singing lesson. Okay. Uh, likely between 1916 to 1920, it was written, the four years. And it's written, England battled France, because you know, we are not sure about the places, but we have some ideas, so it might be written in that places. Okay, published in 1920, uh, John Stratt story. Okay, uh, uh, setting, so setting means where it took place. A girl's school likely in England. Climax Miss Meadows is called into the headmistress office to read the telegram from Basil. I can tell you that. Antagonist, main characters. Miss Meadows, Basil, Science Mistress and Miss Yacht. Okay. These are the important characters and one girl, okay, a small girl who is a student of Miss Meadows. Okay, Beasley. And she visits her every day with a chrysanthemum flower. She accepts it. Okay, just let's go to the topic. Okay, uh, Miss Meadows is a music teacher and she is teaching and she is making the children very comfortable in her class. But what happens in the morning, she feels very tired. And in this lesson, we can find the word cold, which means that she doesn't have the cold or sneezing or no problem. But she is not feeling good. Mentally, she is not good. So let me give, read this passage and I can explain. Because I never take the uh, text from the textbook. I have taken, I have prepared uh, this summary from the net and just I'm giving you and you will feel much better than the text. Miss Meadows, a singing teacher, walks through the school where she works heading toward, the, toward her classroom. She is feeling despair, buried deep in her heart like a wicked knife around her girls are arriving at school, rosy, rosy from chilly fall weather and full of excitement. So here you can find that she is walking like a dead board. She has, no, she has lost her sense and she is walking like that. And the students, as usual, the students are just moving and asking, Miss, 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 what happens? And, but she doesn't have anything to speak to her because, you know, she is feeling very cold. Not cold means, you know, she doesn't have the mindset to speak to anyone. She is going to the class because she got the news 
her fiance had just sent the letter. In that letter, engagement is broken. Next, so what happens here? Another teacher, uh, the science mistress, stops Miss Meadows and mentions uh, the cold weather. The science mistress, who looks sweet and blonde, notices that Miss Meadows looks cold. Miss Meadows thinks this kindness is insincere, wonders whether she noticed everything and says, oh, not quite as bad as that. She walks. She walks means the science mistress walks in front of her and it's just she visits. And what happens? She finds that uh, Miss Meadows is not really happy. She's cold. She's cold means she's not feeling well. Feeling means mentally she's not good. And look at this, in this line also we can find, okay, the science miss the blonde, she has a different hairstyle. Okay, so everything is happening in the veranda, so now she is, what is that, who is, the Miss Meadows is going to walk around the veranda. So when she just meets the science miss, she is visiting and the is between them. When Miss Meadows arrives in the classroom, students are noisy, her favorite student, Mary Beasley, with preparing Miss Meadows, a chrysanthemum flower, a seat at the piano, and Mary asks the, to the students when Miss Meadows walks into the room. Miss Meadows taps the baton and demands silence without looks, looking darkly at Mary or anyone else. She imagines that the students will think she is angry today. So it's very difficult because she is going to the class. And all the students are running here and there. Uh, they think that the teacher has come and the teacher is not in good mood. Because it will happen to everyone. So now she is thinking she doesn't have the mindset to, to talk to anyone. But as usual, Mary Bisley, Bisley means it's one of, the favorite, one of her favorite students. And she makes the class silence. And she is taking the small stick that is called baton. And just she is patting on the desk and she just needs silence, that will be enough. And Mary Beasley, she is just making the students calm. But the students are not able to understand what happens to the teacher. Okay. Uh, Miss Meadows feels a defiant in the face of her students' judgment. Their opinions don't matter to her since today is, she is bleeding to death, pierced, pierced to the heart by a letter that her fiance Basil left to end the engagement. Look at this. Even in our country, if a girl's, if a woman's engagement is stopped, the people will make a lot of stories. So the people will say that hereafter, this will be the, so for her, marriage won't happen. So now, she is thinking about only the letters which is from her fiance Basil. Okay, in that letter, she can find that. Okay, she uh, she can find that. Okay, he has broken the engagement, and whatever the reason, maybe it's not a problem at all. But only one thing is the marriage. So engagement is stopped. So now, she feels annoyed. She feels irritated, and she feels unhappy, and she goes to the class. She, her intention is, okay, the message should not reach the student. The student should not feel, okay, pity on me. So what happens? She goes very fast and as soon as possible, she must leave the school. But what happens here? He wrote that he, he loved her as much as it is possible for me to love any woman. But that the notion of marriage makes him feel disgust. The word is, the word is disgust unpleasant, awkward. So in that letter, he has written that if he marries Miss Meadows, okay, it's, an, it's a disgust, it's an awkward, it's an unpleasant one. But only one thing, you know, when the engagement is stopped, because we may think a lot of reasons, it might be, that might be, this must be, that must be, so that is, but now, Miss Meadows minds, mind is filled with only the thoughts. What happens? What happened to him? What did make him to write like that? 
she had a lot of questions but no answers there and he lightly crossed out disgust and wrote regret but just he strikes it okay but the, still the word is visible but he has written over it a regret but she knows that okay the word which is from his heart who sought miss sorry mr basil because you know both were in love and their engagement is going to happen very soon they will be getting married okay they are going to start a new life but everything gets over now she feels so sad because then if the news reaches the student as well as her colleagues it would be an unpleasant thing thinking of this miss meadows who walks to the piano where mary beasley greets her and offers her a yellow chrysanthemum mary has done this every day for a term and a half which seems like ages and ages to miss meadows for the first time instead of greeting mary and accepting the flower miss meadows ignores mary and speaks to the students coldly ordering them to open their books mary blushes and nearly cries so usually usually it will like happen for me also because you know every teacher will have some uh, favorite students the favorite students when the teacher comes there and the, the student will go and approach the teacher and the teacher and the students will be very comfortable with each other we should not think about the gender but here mary beasley the student okay every day she, she brings a chrysanthemum chrysanthemum flower and just she gives her and the teacher also accepts and she will be just smiling at her but today she ignores that's why the student mary beasley she just blushes and blushes means you know she feels dejected and she is about to cry okay only one reason is because her miss is not happy so she is not happy because she doesn't accept her flower it happens every day but it doesn't happen today that's why she is crying next the song miss meadows has chosen is called a lament the word a lament lament means cry most probably when you are in the sad situation okay you will play the sad songs okay and when you are so happy just you will play the rap songs or some what is the musical songs so it will make you it will just boost you your okay mood and automatically you sometimes you know when you are so happy you will just dance you never think about the age you never think about the appearance it's not a problem at all because whenever you are so happy you will dance sometimes at least you will hum here and there you will nod your head but the word is a lament the what is it, the song and she asked them to all sing it through together without emotion the lyrics describe the sadness of the passing seasons autumn turning into winter drear look at this the less the song a lament which is very apt for miss meadows life because the autumn gets over the winter starts winter starts means even in because this less the story is written uk based situation so winter it will be very chill the people won't bear it they are not able to bear this chillness so the people will think that winter is not good for their life so autumn gets over which means that you know the happy just ends the sadness comes into her life because of the sad news which is from mr basil as music passes away from the listening ear even while the girls are not singing with emotion miss meadows hears every note as a sigh a sob a groan look at the words a sigh okay look at this now taking deep breath sob crying groan moaning okay so these words express the sadness the feelings which are in her and as she conducts her rhythm matches her recollection of the words basil's breakup letter yes now she is relating the lyrics with her life even most of the times the people okay who may think that yes you know they have lost everything they will bring the uh, lyrics from the cinema 
okay, how he has written. And sometimes, you know, the people would say their Kannadasan lyrics and Vairamthu lyrics, and they would say that, yes, he has lived in his life, and he has got experience. That's why he can write the poem like that. Even we have a lot of uh, Tamil lyrics, which were written by Kannadasan and, Kannadasan and Vairamthu. Because, you know, both, both people's lyrics so different. Because, you know, they would be just killing us particularly some sad songs. So if you want to hear, just go and watch it. So when the music comes in us, we will forget ourselves, and next we will go to the world where the poet has written the name, where written, written the lyrics. So we will think, we will just have the connection with the lyrics. So the, here the Miss Meadows, she thinks, her, she connects her life with the lyrics. See, it happens very quietly in everyone's life. This letter came out of blue as Basil's previous letter had been all about furniture he planned to buy for their future home. Miss Meadows recalls smiling at his plan to buy a hat stand that holds three hat brushes. She asked the students to sing again without emotion, but still she feels the sadness of the song. She recalls Basil's handsomeness and how he couldn't help knowing how handsome he was. She recalls him stroking his own hair and moustache. Look at this. This is called a girl's and a woman's feeling. Okay. So now she just recollects. At the same time, I can tell you, some of the songs, even the singers, okay, they will feel the pain and they will sing. Then only the song can be a successful one. Okay, most probably I like uh, Svanalada Madam's songs. Okay, most of the times when we just listen, listen to the songs of her, okay, because you know, no one can match her voice. Even when she starts the song, definitely we will forget ourselves. Okay, so when the singers feels the situation only, we can find that the song will be a successful one. Fine. So here the children, they are not singing properly. They don't have, they don't just reveal the emotions. But the teacher, Miss Meadows, she feels, okay, she takes all the lines from the poem and she just connects the lines with, the, with her life. And now she thinks about her love, lover, who is that Basil, how he was and how he is handsome, how he is handsome. And just, you know, sometimes, you know, his gesture and just doing the moustache and just, you know, rubbing the uh, beard. So now she is recollecting all the things, how she spent with him. But now, now everything is vain, everything is gone. Now she feels dejected, depressed. And whatever the words which are describing the, her sadness, now she is thinking all the words. Now she is walking like that. Now. Miss Meadows thinks of another conversation she had with Basil where he said that the headmaster's wife had asked him to dinner again, but he doesn't feel that he can refuse, even though he finds it annoying uh, because it doesn't do for a man in a position to uh, be unpopular. This is it's one event, okay? She thinks, but it may be true or may not be true, okay? Uh, Miss Meadows thinks of another conversation because you know Basil had the conversation with the headmaster's or uh, headmaster's wife, and she asked her him for the dinner. So she would be because you know when something happened uh, to us, even we would think it might be the reason, that might be the reason. So she might have done, he might have done something like this, something like us. She had a lot of ideas, she had a lot of thoughts. And it would be the reason, that would be just, you know, because, you know, his, her mind is filled with only the illusions and his, her mind is in dilemma. While the girls are still singing without emotion, Miss Meadows hears the voices as the wail. Wail means cry. Cry means a person who lost a precious thing in, the, in his or her life. So it never comes back again. So like the veil is crying. And sees trees out of the window, waving the wind, having lost, of, lost many of their leaves. She speaks to the girls in a strange, 
cold voice that makes the students afraid. And she asked them to sing the song again with as much expressions as possible. As Miss Meadows describes how to fill the words of the song with the emotions. The awful tone of her voice make Mary Beasley wreath. Look at this. The first line, while the girls are still... Now, she is making the students sing the song again and again. But the girls are singing without any emotion. At the same time, just she is connecting her life, her life with the tree. The tree which is seen through the window, so the tree has lost its leaves. And it's waving its branches here and there, just like that. Because, you know, she has lost her charm, pretty and beauty. And now she is connecting her life with the lyric. But the students are afraid. She is speaking to the people cold. Even when we are not in good mood, when we have some problem, even to me too. If I had some problem, if I just went to the school, definitely I wouldn't talk with the students very friendly. And the students would understand that, okay, teacher is not in good mood. So if we, if we go, definitely the teacher would react very badly. So we should not go. Now the students are afraid. So something happened to the miss. But she doesn't reveal to anyone. Look at this. While the students are singing, Miss Meadows fixates on the fact that her engagement must truly be over. This engagement had seemed like a miracle to her and also to the science mistress because Basil is 25 and Miss Meadows is 30. She remembers him first declaring love to her and saying somehow or other, I have got fond of you and touching her ostrich feather bow. Miss Meadows asked the girls to repeat the song and they are so upset by emotions. Look at this. Now she is recollecting how she met Basil and how he proposed his love to her. And the word is, you know, somehow or other, I have got fond of you. And touching her ostrich feather bow, this is ostrich feather bow. The people can use it over their neck and it will be hanging over here. It will be what's you no, know, it will be so nice to touch. So, because when he proposed his love, Okay, and she felt that, so she must be in heaven. And next day, he touched the feather, ostrich feather bow. This is. And now, she's, when she is recollecting the events which happened in her life, now she is asking the students to sing again and again. The students are upset. How can we sing the sad song again and again without any emotion? But the students are afraid because if they speak to the miss, Definitely she would be getting angry and she would punish. That's why they are not able to speak to her. While the girls sing, Miss Meadows thinks that it doesn't matter to her how little Basil loves her. But she knows he doesn't love her at all. He didn't even care enough about her feelings to cross out the word disgust so that she couldn't read it. She thinks that she will have to leave the school entirely rather than face the science mistress and the girls once they know about their broken engagement. Yes. Look at this here. Now she feels she lost her lover. Okay, she thinks that, you know, he didn't love me. She didn't want me. She didn't need me. Okay, he, he, she has used all the phrases. And all the words, she has related all the words to her life. And now she wants to leave the school because, you know, if everyone comes to know the broken engagement, definitely the, all the people will just go and uh, speak to her about only the engagement or she wouldn't be happy. But what happens really? But everyone comes to know it. And the science mistress, she said that Basil is 25 years old and Miss Meadows is 30 years old. Even the, in age, you are not matched. But it's not a matter at all. Even Sachin Nalgar, he is five years younger than his wife. But they are leading a good life. Age is not a matter at all. But how you understand with each other, that is a major thing. A student, Monica, comes into the classroom appearing. 
Nervous, she tells Miss Meadows that she, the headmistress, Miss Viach, wants to see her. Miss Meadows asks her students to talk quietly until she returns. Many of the students are still crying. Not crying, Miss, they are not crying. They keep silence and they don't know how to react to the teacher's words. And now, when she is in the classroom, uh, one of the students named Monica, and she comes and asks the teacher to go and meet uh, Miss Viach. And she is the head, what's the headmistress. And this is a climax so which changes her sad moment into happy moment. Miss Yacht is untangling her glasses from her lace tie when Miss Meadows arrives. So I think uh, the people will have the uh, specs. Okay, they will have the rope over the neck. Okay, even if the speck follows, it won't fall on the floor. So now she is correcting it, and uh, uh, when the miss arrives in the class, inside the class, and now she is giving the telegram in her to her hands, and uh, now she thinks that okay, the telegram must be from Basil, and uh, Bas Basil. So it must be it must be a sad news. So she thinks that he must have committed suicide. So it's really pathetic and what's going to happen because you know she thinks that the news must not be that because broker engagement sometimes the bad news comes automatically everything will be over even she might think that she can end up her life even the school campus sometimes it may happen so now she is praying to God because the telegram which will bring only the sad news in those days but nowadays we don't have we don't have the telegram facility we have the mobile even what we think now we can send the message to us the person who is in US or Australia, the next moment through WhatsApp. Because in those days, 1920, they had only one facility that is Telegram. If the Telegram comes, the people will think that only the sad news. But what happens here? Miss Meadows reads the short Telegram, it's from Basil, says she should ignore his earlier letter. Yes, this is a very, very important thing saying she should in, ignore his earlier letter and that he must be, have been mad. He says he has bought a hat stand. Look at this. This line says, should ignore his earlier letter, must have been mad. Okay, so when he was thinking too much and when he was in good mood, just he wrote the letter and sent to uh, Miss Meadows. But he is, now he apologizes to her and he says that, okay, he must have been mad and he has bought the hat stand. So whatever it may be, now the story ends with a happy note. Uh, Miss Yacht leans forward and again says she hopes it's not serious. Miss Meadows says it's not bad news, it's from her fiance, she says, emphasizing the word fiance, Miss Yacht says, I see, and reminds Miss Meadows that still has 15 minutes left to teach in her class. This, uh, before Miss Meadows leaves, Miss Yacht scolds her for re receiving a telegram containing good news during the school day. She says, telegrams are to work or not only, are not allowed uh, for very bad news. Sorry. Here, telegram is not a matter, okay, but the telegram which brings up good news, okay, should not be allowed inside the school. If the telegram which brings up bad news, must be allowed. And she is scolding, but she doesn't mind. Who, is, doesn't, who doesn't mind? Miss Meadows, because she has got the good news, so her, her engagement is going to happen, so everything will be getting over, and she is so happy. And once again, I'm telling you that, here we have 15 minutes, 15 minutes we know she is, she has 15 minutes to teach the students. And when he, when she enters at the headmistress room, okay, she was thinking something would have happened to Basil. But after just leaving the room, just she could find that she has the wings, she is flying, she is not walking. She has a lot of wings over her face and she is flying on the sky. 
and she is she is not able to walk properly and she is so happy she thinks that she is in heaven and she goes to the class very fast and asks the students to change the sad song into a happy one the students are not able to understand what happened to the miss and the students are confused but the students are so happy because miss is very happy if she is very happy she will teach the lessons happily miss meadows returns to a music classroom on the wings of hope look at this of love of joy when she when she, when she went to the headmistress room she was very sad when she comes out of the headmistress room she had the wings she can fly she can walk she is filled with only the joy and you know she doesn't know what she is doing assigns the girls different song she turns to mary, mary beasley and picks up the yellow chrysanthemum to hide her smile and the girls begin to sing the triumphant summer song miss meadows as assigned but she stops them saying they should sound more warm joyful eager look at this summer warm in uk and france and the african countries sorry european countries the summer season will be good for them because now here spring season but if we have because in india most probably in tamil nadu we have the summer season nearly 9 months okay so here warm and summer so which means that the two words show the positive happiness and voice over all over the voices full deep growing with the expressions now the girls all the girls are singing with a high pitch because they because they are so happy the teacher mood is changed which changed the mood the telegram which is sent by his lover basil okay because the engagement is going to happen so within 45 minutes or 1 hour okay the mood is changing often here and there okay you are because you know even human mind our minds also like that when we get the good news we will be so happy even we can say the csk when they win the match the people are so happy when they lost the match that the people are just passing the comments okay it's so sad and so many they are they are saying that it's, it's not good to see and so many things they are passing the comments that is so our life is filled with ups and downs joy and sorrows so we must accept both okay if we accept the both joy and sorrow equally our life here will be a colorful one uh, thank you so much for watching me uh, in this session and let me meet you uh, tomorrow day after tomorrow with a new topic thank you so much bye bye